Hello lovely people, welcome to Pro Arm Strings. I'm Henriette and this lesson is about flow in your playing and more specifically flow in your violin hold. And we're going to practice some exercises for our head and neck and shoulders. And in this lesson you will also learn how you can hold your violin without it being stiff so that there is flow, believe it or not, in your violin hold. We're going to start today without our instrument and I would like you to get started again with this relaxed stance that we know by now is the basis of all good violin playing. So if you play in your bare feet or in your socks it's better than playing in shoes. So get ready and let's find that stance where your feet are about hip width apart and then I want you to build up your stance from your feet up so you have very loose legs so you're not locking your knees but they are supple and then I want you to build up, feel through your spine, create that awareness in your spine so that you stack all the vertebrae on your spine on top of one another and make your spine really nice and long. You can roll your shoulders backwards and forwards and you can do that with me just so we get some awareness going in your shoulders and then once you've loosened that up let's drop your head gently to the right and now I'd like you to roll it forward to the center lift your head up now drop your head uh, ear to shoulder to the left hand side just gently roll it forward to the center and let's do that a few times, shall we? So start in the centre, drop your right ear to your right shoulder and let it roll forward. And then once you've hit the centre, come back up and then to the left, roll forwards. And you may even shut your eyes if you can feel your neck better like that. Right ear to right shoulder. Do it all very slowly to the center, come up slowly, left ear to left shoulder, gently roll forward and come up. And what that does, it makes you aware of your muscles in your neck, it stretches the muscles in your neck a little bit more and we just wake up the muscles ready to play in a moment. Now, if you are comfortable with this, and not everybody is, because, um, for instance, my neck is very squeaky, if that's you, be very careful. But just gently roll your neck clockwise, uh, clockwise, and again, and anti clockwise. So you carve a line with your nose, anti-clockwise, and you carve a line with your nose, clockwise. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no, and shake your head yes again, and no once again, and we've warmed up really nicely your neck muscles, so let's pick up our violin now. about flow here today and what I'd like you to do is move very slowly so that we make every movement deliberate rather than just getting your violin up on your shoulder and hunching around it and instead I would like you to move very slowly in this lesson and I'd like you to float your violin up as it were so that this button here goes to that little dent in your neck in the middle here. So let's float it up like that, very gently, 
go up like that and whilst you do that I want you to keep that space you remember we had this space in front of us where in one of our previous lessons where we were thinking about having your shoulders opening up your shoulders and I want you to do the same thing when you float up your violin and this button here goes into this dent in your neck here at the at the front imagine this little space so your shoulders are back and now I'm very very gently floating the violin over my collarbone to the left hand side all right super so you keep this open stance when you've got your violin and when you do it slowly like this it's much easier to achieve that what I so often see is that people pop their violins on their shoulders and they go like that straight away and then you've lost all that openness all that ability to breathe all those things that we've been talking about in previous lessons so shall we do that once again just to feel what the difference is so we're thinking about this button here that's going to eventually land in the center of my neck right here but we're going to keep an open stance here so your shoulders remain open and your violin is going to float through the air almost and into the center here then once you've got it there gently slide it across your collarbone to the left hand side so I can literally feel it here sliding and I'm going to slide it very very slowly so that you keep that awareness of where the violin is all the time until it's almost at your earlobe here and once you've got it there and you've got your nice relaxed head see if you can hold it just like this now that is very very nice if you can do that because now I'm not slamming my head on the chin rest or jamming the violin in between my neck and my collarbone but it's floating and that's a very different approach so let's try that again shall we so go very very slowly towards the center remember to keep that open stance remember also to be loose in your legs oh yes <laughs> okay now slide your violin gently across your collarbone so that it's very close to your earlobe and then can you see if you can just hold it gently with your neck like that if that becomes really hard and you feel that you're inclined to lift your shoulder up it may well be that you need a bit more um, of a shoulder rest or more padding anyway to cover that whole space okay this is not the place to talk about the right type of shoulder rest but if you find that you cannot gently hold your violin like this and you need to hunch your shoulders or drop your head down too much then there's maybe something to think about for another day and now when you are having your violin like that let's swing our arms like this very gently float your arms forwards and backwards and I'm hoping that while you do that that and especially when you move your hands backwards you can feel your shoulders opening again like we've been talking about and you'll find that we will be talking about space and opening and breathing and flow all the time in this course and this is one such moment where you might experience it again that there is space here there is openness here rather than that inward sort of bending you see what I mean now let's have a slightly different approach let's now take the violin down and this time I want you to lift the violin up quite high up like this and now you let it float down from the air and you'll find that space where it sat a moment ago straight away and again now I'm moving almost in slow motion so I experience what it feels like when we do that so let's do that again shall we so up in the air come from high above so use your other hand if you need to are you still loose in your legs okay you come from high above and you float into the right position here before you then hold it with your head and neck 
And if you can do that, that is a very different approach, a much more mindful approach than when you pick up your violin jam. There we are, and we're ready to bow. And all of this is already forward rather than keeping that space, you see. Fantastic, really, really good. So pick the method that works the best for you. I'm deliberately giving you two different options here. So whether you like this method, sliding your violin over your collarbone to where it's positioned properly, or whether you'd like to come from the air and come from above and float it down, it's completely up to you. But let's now take this a step further and let's think about that belly breathing again that we did in the past couple of lessons. So your right hand might touch your belly here and I'd like you to sit that violin comfortably on your shoulder, yes? And now I'd like you to shut your eyes and take a very deep breath in through your nose and out through the mouth. And breathe out as much as you can, as long as you can. And while you do that and you've got your eyes closed, home in on the feeling of your violin on your collarbone. So let's try and become aware what temperature is your violin at the moment. So close your eyes. Inhale slowly and deeply through your nose, feeling your belly extend and feeling what temperature is your violin? And exhale through the mouth. My next question on our next inhale is, can you feel the heaviness of your violin? Do you think that's heavy or is it light today? Inhale through your nose. Exhale through the mouth. Feel your belly contract. What, it, what can you tell me about the weight of your violin? Shall we try this again? Inhale, feel your belly expand. And exhale through the mouth. Bat your eyelids open. It'll be interesting to hear from you what sort of experience you had just now. What, what did you think about your violin? Have you ever felt it lean on your collarbone like that? So some people might say, oh, it's much lighter than I thought. And other people might say, oh gosh, it's really pressing on my collarbone, isn't it? And if you try this, this a different day, it might well be that you have a different experience that you'll find it heavier on your collarbone then then another day so just feel and and acknowledge what the state is today how do you feel about it today and that is very useful experience all the while we keep this openness this space which you experience much better in this way as well i feel when your breathing is much more controlled let's go back to this position where you had your violin with no hands. If you're comfortable enough doing that, I mean if you're not secure and you're not sure about this then by all means hold one hand onto your violin and move with your other hand. But if you're comfortable and you don't have to grip the violin too hard but you find a nice balance, let's move your arms out in front and then very gently let's move your arms to the side. Again we want to experience that openness and that flow and if this is how far you can reach float your arms back again and float your arms towards you shall we just practice that again so gently move your arms forward and see how much you dare open your arms so you feel this floating feeling of the violin just sitting there and then come back close to you again so we're slowly going to combine all these ideas of space, of breathing, of, about confidence, which we'll be talking about in, uh, in a lesson very shortly. And all those ingredients build up to good violin technique. 
So this time let's hold the violin with your neck and let's see if you can move your arms up and how high do you dare to go up and then you float them down again when you've had enough. Okay, let's, shall we do that again? See if you can float your arms up and feel that weight of the violin on your collarbone. All the while softening your legs. Can you do it another time? Or is that a bit too scary now? Wow, amazing. Well done. We started with the breath and we're going to finish with the breath as well. So when you're ready, you might reset your violin if you'd like to do that. Come back here. And again, I'm moving very slowly because I want to be aware of all the things that are happening. Okay. If your violin's comfortable on your shoulder, find one hand on your belly, one hand at the small of your back. Close your eyes. Breathe in into your belly and out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth, okay, and initially for most people this will be a very very short breath, so you go in, hold it out, <laughs> hold it, because that is quite scary to do, but once you learn that that there is a flow in this violin as well. It's not rigid when it sits on your shoulder when you hold it. There's, there's always some movement, isn't it? Once you acknowledge that there is this flow and there is this movement together with your breath, you'll gain more confidence. And that allows you then to grip much less. And this whole process then starts from the beginning again, you see. And you get into a spiral where you get more and more open more and more flowy, less and less holding the violin and getting round it like that, you see? And I think by now you will have tweaked that we're constantly talking about this space and this slow movement and you're doing great. And if you want to feel that you need to explore this a little bit more, come back to this video tomorrow and play it again and see what tomorrow brings because a different day may well give you a very different feeling. I'll leave you to think about that. Thanks very much for watching and please write in the comment section how this was for you. I'd be very, very interested to hear about it. I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson. Goodbye.